So I got a very interesting email from Fox Knights today, guys, uh, clarifying the changes that are going to be happening to the Red Star Orb systems coming very shortly here. And uh, to be honest, not a day too soon, man. Well, actually, about a week too late because I just opened up 124 Red Star Orbs. If you guys missed that already, uh, it was very painful for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Proxima Midnight. You, if it costs you 124 Red Star Orbs and I don't even get her at 4 Red Stars... I wish that this was announced before because I would have stopped that and I would have saved my Red Star Orbs. So here it is, guys. Let's break this down and let's see if it's worth saving your, you know, promotions and Red Star Orbs for now until this update is implemented. All right, let's jump into this letter and let's see what the changes are going to be. All right, so first things first, the cost to use promotional credits for all characters will be adjusted at all tiers, five Red Stars and above. The five Red Star costs will be lowered from the current value of 300 silver promotions to 150. All right, so that's pretty good. That's about 100. That's half. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three quick maths. The cost that it costs right now. Any player that previously used silver promotion credits uh, to purchase a five-star character uh, will be refunded the difference when the new system goes live. So that is awesome right there because I personally have used that once or twice. I don't remember, but I think once for sure. So that's good. They're going to send us our credits back on that. So, thank you for that. The 6 red star cost will change with a 20 times inflation from 5 gold promotion tokens to 100. This is effectively the same cost in the new economy as it is now. Alright, so now they're making the new cost for six, star, 6 red star characters 100 gold promotional tokens, guys, instead of the 5 that it was before. But with the way that they're going to be uh, giving away these tokens, it says that uh, it's going to be actually about the same cost as it is now. So it's not going to be a big difference. It's basically you're going to be getting a lot more, but it's going to cost you a lot more. All right. So that's kind of what they're doing with that. The seven red star cost will change from 50 uh, gold promotion tokens to 150, greatly reducing the cost for that. So that actually is true. That's a huge reduction in cost because... Uh, previously, it would cost you 5 gold promotion tokens to get 1 hero to 6 red star. It cost you 50 gold promotion tokens to get 1 hero to 7 stars. But now with the new system now, it costs you 100 promo uh, gold promotional tokens to get a 6 red star character. Which they said is going to be the same of cost as it was before. And now you only need 150, so only 50 more to get a 7 red star character. Which is a huge, huge reduction in that cost, guys. So... Uh, let's see how this plays out and how, you know, they're gonna work it out. But I think that's pretty good that they reduced the cost of a 7 Red Star character here. I still don't know how available these gold promotions will be. But they're saying that, you know, they're gonna be a lot more available, you know, after this update. So, that's pretty good, guys. Um, uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. As we're adjusting the price points of 6 and 7 Red Star promotions, all gold promotion credits in players' inventories will be multiplied by a factor of 20. This means that 5 gold promotional credits now will become 100 gold promotional credits in the new system. Uh, this needs to be done to ensure that gold promotional credits can be more accessible uh, than they are currently. Alright, so pretty awesome here. If you are storing, if you do have those gold promotional credits, guys, they're going to multiply them automatically in your account when this goes live. So, yeah, it's kind of what they said. 5 is going to turn into 100 in the new system here so it's still about the same thing with five you could have bought a six red star character which i did two times of them oh my god i'm so pissed right now if you really think about it we got 10 gold promotional tokens before so if you didn't use them on your two six uh upgrades and you'd save them now you would have gotten 200 of those gold promotional tokens so your 10 would have turned into 200 which means you could have gotten a 7 red star character instead of 2 6s. So I'm not sure if what you prefer. Uh, I think getting 2 6 uh, red characters is probably better than getting 1 7. But it depends on which 7 we're talking about here. So maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, let's continue reading here, guys. So several improvements will be made in red star orbs to add uh, increased value and generally make all levels more desirable to open all right so this is how they're going to improve the way that you get these red star orbs here so let's take a look currently the side pillars of red star orbs are empty and the new system will be adding promotional credit to those pillars uh for basic red star orbs through the elite six star orb all right so now when you open red star orbs your pillars on the side will also drop 
uh, goodies as well, including red star orbs uh, as well. So that's good. I like that. That's a that's a way to get more orbs out there. All right. So now, opening a duplicate one red star character will grant the same amount of uh, elite credits as opening a duplicate of two red star character. All right. Awesome. I love that right there. So before, when you open up a red one red star, you get 100 credits. Now, if you open up a 1 or a 2, you're going to get 200 credits for both. So, that definitely increases, you know, how many elites you're going to get. The updated contents of basic Red Star Orbs will ensure that upon opening 20 orbs, even if you got all duplicates of uh, lower Red Star characters, you're guaranteed to have enough credits to purchase one for Red Star Orb. Alright, so this is awesome right here with the new system here. Every 20 orbs you open, no matter how bad they are, you're guaranteed... To get a four red star elite so every 20 you're guaranteed a uh, four red star elite. i love this and if you obviously if you get a four red star or a five red star or six red star or higher uh you're guaranteed the elite even better because you're gonna get more promotional credits but at least at this point now if you're just dropping twos and twos and twos ones and twos and ones and twos and ones and twos for 20 times in a row you're definitely guaranteed a four elite right away so that's a good improvement right there uh, elite 7 Red Star Orbs will have the price uh, lowered from 5,000 Elite 7 credits to 2,500. Alright, huge, huge, huge decrease in that here. Opening a duplicate at this level will grant enough credits to open another orb. Alright, so that is awesome right there, guys. So, if you open an Elite 7 Red Star Orbs, which I have not, and I'm sure... 95% of you guys have not as well because it's just impossible. So they're going to change it from 5,000 to 2,500, which is half the amount it costs currently right now. So that is awesome. I love that here. So uh, red stars for everybody. Woo! This is going to be awesome. <laughs> not quite yet, guys. It's still going to take a long time to get a red star. I mean, they're supposed to be really rare, which I don't mind. But uh, at least they're making it a little bit easier for us to get these uh, four and fives potentially here. So... That's a lot better right there. Two changes have already been made. We already know about this one. Uh, one of them is they added a third row to the Elite Store. And then another one was uh, the drop rates of three and four star characters uh, in the basic Red Star Orbs have been increased. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if I've... I actually, maybe I did feel that when I was doing my openings. I did get quite a bit of four Red Stars. So, yeah, maybe that's already implemented in the game already all right so let's talk about a couple of other stuff that they included in this letter as well so they also talk about the character release cadence here and they're making a little bit of a difference uh here and it's not a huge difference and i'm not against it uh but what they're saying is when a character first becomes available uh through any method of the game they will be added to all levels of red star orbs except characters like ultron which we understand However, that character will not appear for acquisition via promotional credits until the character becomes farmable in the game, alright? So, you won't be able to directly get that character to promote that character's 7 red stars on day 1. Which I'm not against at all, guys, alright? I'm not against this rule whatsoever because it makes kind of sense to me. So, what they're saying is a new character drops, a legendary character could be any character... You won't be able to promote that character to seven red stars right away because they're not gonna they're not gonna show up in that promotional store. You will, however, be able to open up them up, you know, open them up in the orb. So if they're if you get lucky in the orb, you can still get them at five, six, or seven red stars by luck. But you won't be able to promote the, that character. And uh, I'm not against that at all. Like I said, because if you have a legendary character who's just straight up OP, and somebody wants to whale out and get them to like six or seven red star, I mean uh, seven, six or seven stars, and then also have the promotional credits saved up to get them to seven red stars as well, it'll be annoying. It'll be it'll really kill the game for a lot of people here because that character will annihilate everything in its path. So we don't want to face that. We don't want to deal with that as well. But as long as we have a chance to get them in the orbs, that's good enough for me, alright? Uh, they also go on to talk about the power curve, as we already knew, we, we've seen this before, the power curve is changing. So basically, all uh, new star levels will jump one level above. So for instance here, as you can already see, a one star is now the old two stars, alright? A four star is now the old five star. A six star... Uh, is actually going to be completely new power, so they're going to be at 60%, so they're going to be a little bit 
better. So six stars will be better than what they were before. But the five stars are the new six stars. Or are the old six stars. So that's kind of how they're changing that power curve right there. They're making five stars good, as good as the six star was before. And then the six star is going to be right in between. And then a seven star is still the same at 75% increase in stats. So that's the difference in that. And now also they also include here a new flash event, which we've heard about as well, the Wakandans event here. So Red Star Flash event is going to be starting. Now here's what they're doing with the events here. They're changing the events to for each day, for each Saturday of the month. So the first Saturday of every month, we're going to have the Wakandans Red Star Flash event. It doesn't say how many Wakandans you need, but it says the first four missions require only four Wakandan characters. The Shuri Legendary event will return in between the second of the uh, second run of the Chaos Theory. All right, so the Shuri's Legendary event is going to become is going to come right after the first time they release this, so you'll be able to get Shuri if you don't have her yet. But uh, the first four missions only require four Wakandans, so you'll be able to do the first four missions pretty much. Uh, then the second Saturday of the month is going to be Relic Hunt with Hand. And then Payday is going to be the third Saturday of the month. Uh, every month. And then uh, the Block Party, they're going to... So Block Party runs every two months. So Block Party is going to run the fourth Saturday every other month. And then I'm not sure what they're going to do about the other Saturday, you know, that the Block Party is not going to run it. They're probably going to put some other event during that time. But that's kind of how they have it set up here. Every Saturday, a new Flash event. So that's pretty cool. I'm liking that as well. Not uh, crazy big news. But I would love to see... If, I would love for them to tell us, you know, how much your Wakandas need to be in order to complete this event here. Because if it's anything like Relic Hunt or Payday, they don't have to be crazy high, guys. You don't have to invest too much into your Wakandans. Uh, I think Gear Tier 9 or 10 will do it. I don't think you need anything higher than that. If it's anything like these other ones here. So even Block Party doesn't need to be that crazy high. Alright. So then it just wraps up here. Saying that this system is going to take a little bit of time. They're going to monitor it closely. Uh, there could be problems with it. We'll see what happens. But uh, they will make changes as need be. Which is totally fine. And that is about it for this one guys. Uh, so I'm uh, very excited for the changes in Red Star Orbs guys. It's been a long time coming. The players really been asking for it. Uh, let's see if this makes a big difference in the gameplay. And uh, let's see if it makes a big difference in how many players are able to get 4 or 5 Red Star characters uh, now. Alright, so we'll monitor that as well as players will going to do the same thing and keep them accountable for it. But that's about it for this video guys. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you guys are, you know, safe and having a good day. And I will catch you guys on the next video, alright? Until then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night everybody. Peace out.